The Zone 3 Podcast, we're back in the studio. Reggie, we're calling this, what, the wrap-up show? I, I, You know what? I, I have no idea what we're calling this, but we just got back home to we're, Phoenix. Yeah, well, yesterday was jet setting. Jet setting. Plane to plane to plane, and now I can't complain because we're back in the studio. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. You like what There's I did no there, There's no way right? we're doing this thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, I thought it was a cool experience. I, for sure, I want to go back. Oh, um, right. There's things that we would do differently next year, for sure, but there's things that we're super grateful about this year. Yeah, one of my biggest takeaways were the organization aspect of when you're, you know, the media per se, I guess we're kind of the media. Um, you know, you want to kind of schedule interviews beforehand so that you can kind of get as much surface area of all these booths as possible. I mean, there's so many booths out there. I wish we could have hit them all, but it, it was just no way uh, with how, you know, how how things were kind of laid out for us. So, but, so I think we would definitely do that a little bit differently next time. It got to the point where we were like, okay, we've got a 12 o'clock appointment for an interview, a, a, a one o'clock, a, yeah. two, a, th- a three, a four, yeah. and so on. We're going booth to booth to booth to booth. So, I mean, obviously it worked out. It kind of worked out seamlessly, actually, perfectly, uh, especially with you editing. Uh, we were able to release episodes yeah. fairly quickly afterwards. Right. And my laptop is a little old. It's, it was born in 2016. So, uh, in laptop age, it's, it's geriatric, so. <laughs> Those are like dog that. years. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so that was a struggle. But, uh, you, know, we, you know, I'm glad we were able to get all that stuff out to you guys. We got it. Like we talked about that just now, actually. We kind of got lucky with the equipment. It was our first time doing something like this portably. And so we uh, were doing it on the fly. We really yeah. didn't have time to QA the equipment before. Right. So um, we, we really did kind of uh, have the MRI guys looking out for us when it came to that because uh, we, we struggled – only a little bit with the audio initially with some of the first interviews we did. But after after that, we kind of knew where our, our money was, right? So we just stuck to that same routine throughout. Yeah. We were able to kind of dial it in. Yeah, um, that was cool. I mean, but as far as the equipment goes, there's things that we would change for sure. I mean, like, for example, we didn't know what the acoustics of the room would be. I mean, it's obviously it's right. a big room, but we didn't realize right. how big of a room it was. Right. And I like having the, the, the what, do you, what do you always call it? The ambiance yes. like that background noise but we want to be able to control the level of that a little bit more uh, so i feel like sometimes when we're interviewing some of the people as you probably saw some of the videos the, the that ambiance would get a little too high that background noise is just overwhelming so uh yeah for our new subscribers uh, reggie's kind of the techie guy here so he does all the post work i do kind of all the work leading up to an episode with researching the topic and all that yeah um because he doesn't need new he already knows it <laughs> he's, he's our online guy yeah and then um, reggie does all the work afterwards so yeah. he does all the post editing so he did he's kind of the guy who we go to for um just like uh qa and the equipment yeah. like just checking out the uh like, acoust- like when robert needs help with his xbox for his son he comes to me <laughs> <laughs> i can't figure out this password issue <laughs> um but like another, I know for sure one thing that we're going to change next year as far as equipment goes, I want to bring uh, lighting because oh, lighting yeah. was a huge issue, especially in those first couple episodes we did. Yeah, yeah, we definitely want to be able to control our environment a little bit better because we, we want to be able to show the booths the best that we can. And the lighting is, you know, when you're in a big convention center like the McCormick Place, you know, I mean, you're – you're a victim to however they have it set up. So we definitely well, want to bring our own lighting. So and I see what they're doing. That. They use these LED lightings with dim lighting behind it. So it looks right. super cool, especially from afar. And as you walk up on it, it's almost like like uh, a spacecraft yeah. or something. Especially with, especially with like the Philips booth. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that was cool. But because because they use that lighting, it's, it's horrible for uh, recording. Right. And, and, and that's one thing, too. With I want to give a big shout out to Philips because they were busy. And they still had time for us. Hyperfine was super busy. They still had time for us. You know, some of these other really big booths, it's kind of hard to kind of get in there because they already had their schedule packed out with interviews. You know, they're, they're doing interviews, you know, day in, day out the whole time. So that's why I definitely want to kind of get that scheduled beforehand so we can kind of get in and get as much as possible, whether it's, uh, you know, one of these big companies versus, you know, some new new first timer at RSNA. So. And, and it wasn't just for the camera, even off camera, they were like happy to answer questions yeah, they wanted to share their knowledge and vice versa they, they were super great. cool to us and uh we hope to kind of build a relationship going forward with them like uh, right i mean we expect this to be kind of a reoccurring theme for us right so every yeah, year. every year yeah i mean we as as everyone knows who's in our radiology field right now if you are not keeping up with how things are advancing you're going to get left behind so we want to leave no child behind 
<laughs> so jump on board. Yeah, heck yeah. Um, now, <clears throat> this year we were able to go the full year. We're not sure if we'll be able to next year. I know Reggie will for sure. Um, yeah, the way time the work works out. Yeah. I think I might be able to only get a couple days off, but we'll see. Yeah, Fingers we'll see. crossed. But um, either way, we're going to go. And then there's some other big conferences we're going to go to this year. Right. Or actually, I keep saying this year. It's almost over. It. Yeah, I know, right? This year is a wrap, right? I yeah. think this might be a wrap for us for this year, too, content-wise. I mean, we have some more episodes we'll probably release. But uh, I, I think content-wise, I think we'll start kind of ending things after RSNA and kind of preparing for the next year. So uh, this is kind of our, even though it's our wrap-up for RSNA, it's kind of our wrap-up for this year as well. <laughs> Something like if we're going to call this other wrap up for the year, then why don't we mention this? Because one thing we do have planned moving forward is we, we understand a lot of our audience is new techs getting right. into the industry, the field. And we think it would be a great idea with all the job opportunities now to at maybe at the end of every episode to have like a instead of like credit scrolling, we have like uh, a list of job opportunities in your right. area. Right. Yeah, um, definitely. Let us know what you guys think about that. Uh, for sure in the comments and then uh, you would just stay tuned obviously to the end of each episode and you would be able to check that out yeah you kind of see and yeah we would be able to pull things from indeed but we also have a lot of uh um contacts we've been networking yeah. for sure and we know a lot of people who know a lot of people and yeah get some pretty sweet jobs um like yeah some high profile positions and so uh yeah, reach out to us um, if you're interested. But either way, definitely check out the, e the end of each episode moving forward. I think that's what our game plan is going to be. Yeah, for next year. So we're, we're, we're switching up a few things. As you know, if, if you've watched our uh, our most recent episode, and I don't know if it's going to be released before we release this one or not, but uh, Dave is uh, no longer with us. So we are open for new producers out there. So here's our first job title. <laughs> Good. Yeah, no, we'll include that in job postings at the end of each episode. <laughs> uh, now, Dave was awesome when he was with us, and he still is, but he's choosing to pursue other job opportunities. He wants to get into the real estate industry. Yeah. Um, although he enjoyed healthcare, he, he never intended it to be a long-term uh, career for him. And so we wish him well, what he's doing. Super creative. And we miss him. And But moving forward, we're going to learn... We'll just adapt. Yeah. And uh, we'll just have to uh, make it work. Yeah, we'll make it work. Uh, you know, we we know how creative our community is, too. So if you guys have any suggestions, any comments or, you know, any ways that you can, uh, you know, help us out for sure. You know, we'd love to hear what you guys think, man. It's Our community has been really powerful, really supportive. And, man, we appreciate you guys for sure. Right. But to get back to RSNA, Robert, what was your biggest takeaway? I mean, now that everything's wrapped up. What what kind of gets you excited about 2022? I would say more than anything, my biggest takeaway was I love that I'm in an industry that doesn't stay stagnant. Oh, that That's is exciting. Stagnant is unacceptable because you'll just tread. I mean, you won't even you'll 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 drown. Yeah, you, you can only tread water for so long, right? Yeah, and so I, well, that's so it's always evolving. And I think that's actually what I love so much about this career of mine is because I'm in an industry that I've constantly am challenged in. Right. Um, you become complacent with what you're doing. It becomes monotonous. Right. Um, you lose interest and then it just becomes a nine to five. Uh, right. And this has never been a nine to five for me. Right. Um, no, for sure. I love what I do and I love that other people love what we do. And Right. Yeah. So I would say my biggest takeaway was just how... Seeing all the advancements in real just time, constantly right? Just be in there, right? And how oh, that's just the norm. It's, that's what right. it's expected. Because we always hear about you, it, right? Yeah. Now we're we like, see it. instead of, if, you, if it's the iPhone 10 or whatever it is now, you better come out with that 11 next year. <laughs> <laughs> right? Nobody's buying that 10 anymore. <laughs> Roman numerals. <laughs> yeah. That's the record. I think I have a 10. I don't even know what it's at now. <laughs> but you get my point. Reggie doesn't even have an iPhone. He's no. one of those weirdos. But Yeah, I'm, I'm way cooler than that. He's uh, against the grain. My grandmother guy. has an iPhone, though. His, yeah, he's got a second cousin neighbor. As <laughs> everybody's got an iPhone, Reggie. Come on wow. now. Yeah, not the bad iPhone. Thank you, iPhone or Apple. We we like you too. We're open to all sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, I don't know. I think my biggest takeaway from RSNA uh, definitely, it you were the one that was actually more ready for this than I was. But that portable MRI, right? Like I really didn't see where. It was going to really be app applicable um, 
or where it would be applied in workflows outside of the ICU. Like, okay, I'm like, oh, okay, you know, they take the ICU, do a scan, and it'd be good. I can see it just sitting around all the time. But actually, you know, you could put it in, in an OR, you could put it in it's so many places where you could put this thing, and then uh, the nurse, if you watch that Hyperfine video, and we'll leave a link down below, uh, the nurse said something real powerful during our interview there, and she said that the family could be there with the patient. And I was just like, wow, wow, like that's so powerful. Like I, if I'm gonna have a surgery or if I'm doing anything with my brain that I'm gonna be out for, I'm in the ICU, I wanna be in a place where they have it hyperfine just so that my family can be there when they're doing these post-op checks or whenever they're utilizing it. So I think that's really, really powerful because uh, man, I, I never thought about that aspect of having the family there so close, it's so low field that the family can be there in the room holding your leg, rubbing your leg while you're getting your brain scan. <laughs> and it was so funny because her and also the MR tech that was there, I think her name was Denise. Yeah. Kim, Kim was the other one, right? Yeah. Uh, it was Jess and D-Nice. Okay. Well, either way, it was, it was really cool afterwards. I was like, did we do good? I was nervous. I was like, no, you guys they did great. great. Man, yeah, they, they were great. so good. Pros, man. We love working with the pros. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was your biggest takeaway. That was my like biggest affordable. takeaway. That, that, I was reading articles about fun. it leading up to it. So I was kind of a little bit maybe prepared. Man, hey, it was really eye You got to get scanned. I did. I think you may be the second person ever in the world. I to mean, be when you're number two, you don't brag about that. So uh, we're gonna scratch now. Check it. Hey, man. <laughs> I'm my girl's second husband. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not that's apples and oranges, bro. Come on now. <laughs> no, we just we, we're having fun doing this, and we appreciate all the support, and uh, we really want to keep it going, man. So uh, you know, thank everyone who's watching. Uh, Thank you for those companies and making yourself so accessible. Thank you yes. to Dave Scott for sure. Yes. I'm going to get her name wrong, but Marguerite uh, Nin Ninjin. Yeah, <laughs> for Phillips. Yeah, yeah. she's from Holland. Uh, Holland. And yeah. So she's Yo, big shout out to Connie from Dot Med. She really helped us make some connections. Yo, Connie, big yes. shout out to Connie. And then how do we end this episode with not mentioning ages, right? They made it Oh, my possible. gosh. We they, wouldn't have been there without those guys. So They created the opportunity by not only providing us with a badge into the place, but also just shaking hands, shaking hands and networking and, with people. We were able to meet a lot of people and, through ages. And so thank you for the ages. And we're going to release an episode on uh, some... Yeah, so we're going to... Uh, all, all, uh, so with the MRI safety, like we're, we're just kind of releasing everything in batches. So... Oh, uh, we'll release an episode that has their their stuff on there as well as like some of the other MRI safety uh, booths that we kind of visited. So like a little montage style. So if y'all haven't seen that yet, I'll leave a link down below. And as in well. the meantime, uh, Google TechGate. Yeah, TechGate. TechGate. Um, is there more? Or is that it? I don't I think know. That's it, man. Uh, much love. So much love to you guys, man. Keep watching. We're gonna we're gonna try keep it fresh every year. You won't. It, it ain't gonna get boring. Hopefully, so if it just, does get boring, let us know. Yeah, just like the industry, we won't stay stagnant. We won't stay stagnant. <laughs> we will always continue to evolve. I mean, there's a reason that, and then we we try to make it fun. So I mean, there's different ways that people learn, and we understand that we are we also learn different ways right. than others, and so. Um, for that, I mean, that's why we do silly things like rap songs right. or, or animations or animations or clip videos or yeah. uh, Reggie's got something cool in the works right now that we'll talk about really pretty soon. Really cool. And I'm thinking about doing it's kind so of cool a cool. My kids won't even believe me when I tell them. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's super cool, man. So I'm hoping we can get that kind of release. Uh, I, I don't know. There's no timeline on it right now, uh, but I'm thinking maybe I'll do maybe some little videos of me creating it to kind of build some hype around it. So. Yeah, stay tuned, man. Some good things next year. Big things. And we're not going to talk about too much extra. Uh, I mean, I guess we can wrap it up. We'll go ahead. Why? Zone 3 Podcast? We're out. Good. <laughs> All right, that was good, man. Yeah. I think that was good. Very smooth.